close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the process of breathing in the body and focus your attention there and then keep it there. One good way of keeping it there is to ask yourself what kind of breathing would feel good there. You can experiment. Give yourself something to learn there, so it's not just forcing yourself to be here. We meditate so we can get some control over our minds. We live in a world where so much is out of our control, even our own body. Illnesses can come, injuries can come, death can come at any time. The world outside us. The weather changes all the time. It's beyond our control. And even in outer space, solar flares, gamma ray bursts, who knows if a gamma ray burst might just blast life off the earth at any moment, literally out of the blue. So we live in a very precarious world, in a precarious body. So you want to make sure that your mind is not precarious. In other words, when you make up your mind to do something good, you want to be able to stick with it. If you want to stop doing something you know is unskillful, you want to be able to stick with that intention. So we need practice in setting up a good intention and sticking with it. So start with the breath. The breath is good it's because it is your anchor in the present moment. There's no past breath to watch, no future breath to watch, just this breath right here, right now. And when you're right here, right now, then you can see the intentions as they come popping up in the mind that would pull you away. And when you can catch them quickly enough, then they don't pull. You can resist them. The problem is we run around so much inside that these intentions come slipping in. We hardly notice them, and then they grow and grow and grow, and then they take over. So get the mind still. Stay with one good intention. Keep it going as much as you can, and you'll learn a lot about your own mind that will be useful in getting some control over it. As the Buddha said, ideally you want to be able to think the thoughts you want to think and not think the thoughts you don't want to think. And you get a better and better sense of which thoughts really are worth thinking when you learn how to make the mind quiet. So stay right here. And as the Buddha said, once this is under control, then the whole issue of your happiness and your suffering, that gets under control as well. There may be things coming from your past actions that still play out in the world outside. But when you've got your mind under control, you don't have to suffer from any of that. So this is a lesson on how to keep your mind safe. Safe from itself, basically, because the worst things that can, you can do to the mind are things that you do yourself. When you learn to get some control over the mind, then you won't do that. And when the mind is under control, then it doesn't have to suffer. And it's not going to cause any suffering for anybody else either. Which means that meditation is good not only for you, but also for the people around you. So learn how to exert some intelligent control in here. And the fact that the world outside is outside of your control, that won't matter at all.